What's up, YouTube? I got another 58 Plymouth. I couldn't stay away from them. They are my dream car, and I found me a really nice one. This one happens to be in original condition. This paint is almost all original, except for that piece and the other one on the other bumper, and then... this piece but everything else is factory paint it looks good there's scratches there's dents it's normal stuff wear and tear but man this thing is a beauty i love it the only thing that's missing is my reverse light i will find one eventually it's a 58 belvedere factory black Silver hockey stick, white roof, just look at them door panels. So I've added two gauges, temperature and oil pressure. Uh, carpet is new, everything else is um, original. Even the seats are original, that's what the seats should look like. They're gold and white, not a fan of the gold and white, and this one was a little ripped. So um, I put a seat cover on it. I have another one to match it that'll go in the back. Let's see. Look at this thing. This came from Minot, North Dakota. There's a YouTube video floating around when it was for sale. That was eight or nine months ago. And then my buddy Matt bought it and I bought it from him. I drove from Florida to Kansas to get her. It is a rust-free Plymouth. How? I have no idea. This thing is solid. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, came with a lot of factory paperwork, or a lot of paperwork, from like 58 to now. It's solid. That's not rust, it's just bare metal. Uh, look, it still has the cardboard in the fins, factory spare tire, and the rubber mat. It's just under all my junk. All the lights work. Everything works except for the clock and the dash. Even my horn works. Let's see if I can get her fired up for you. She's a very cold-natured car. green everything i love it push button automatic three speed torque flight factory am radio still works let's see if we can pick up any stations probably not it's all talk shows nowadays the most generous present they can possibly give because the season is all about family and in chevy we want you to Heck be a yeah. part of ours not a chevy it's a Plymouth. turn my headlights on too show you the taillights probably one of the best things about these cars is the taillights single exhaust it's a 318 two barrel poly um I was going to repaint the engine bay and make it look brand new, but I decided, you know what? I'm going to leave her original. It's pretty clean. I cleaned up a bit. It's all original, pretty much. Plans for the car. I'm doing a disc brake conversion on the front getting rid of all four drums so i'll have drum in the back and disc in the front it'll be a lot safer to drive but uh, i just wanted to do a quick video i haven't had really any time to do the video for this car you hear how quiet it is sounds like a sewing machine i don't even think you can hear it back here barely it's solid underneath though i love it 
my Christine, man, she was a dog. That thing had so many rust holes in it. It was like 85% Bondo. And the fiberglass fenders that I had put on my last one too weighed it down or uh, made it lighter. But those were full fiberglass fenders. These are just completely, that's all metal in there. It's solid. Yeah, I just wanted to do a little video on the car, just show it off. I'm not gonna do a test drive today, but I may in the future. It would be really hard steering with uh, no power steering. Oh yeah, and that's the original miles. It's only got 35,330 miles and I have all the documents to prove it. So uh, yeah, blinkers. course my brights but yeah that's a quick little video on uh, my new 58 I named her Clara so uh, keep a lookout and I'll probably be posting more videos on her because it is my dream car and I've always wanted one and I'll definitely be doing videos when Garlitz comes around and turkey run because I go to all of those here in Florida but uh yeah, that's a quick little video of uh, Clara, the 58 Belvedere. So, see y'all next time.